video starts, I just wanted to say I got a P.O. box. Um, it's really new, so if you want to send me a letter, you don't have to send me anything. If you want to send me something, it'll be in the description box, so check it out. And yeah, let's get on with the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a celebration video. You guys love my celebration videos. And if you didn't know, I used to live here. Don't live here anymore. But today we are going to be talking about shopping and celebration. Someone actually requested this video, which I will put the comment on the screen. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's a really good idea. Thank you to the person on the screen I, that I totally forgot her name right now. Thank you for requesting this video. I am going to take you into some shops so you can see everything and just kind of give you a little tour of some of the shops, at least downtown celebration. I don't know if I'm gonna like film in all of the stores. Some of people might be a little salty. Um, cough, cough, my last video that I did in celebration about dining in celebration, there was this lady. You're just gonna have to go check it out. I'll link down below my playlist of all my celebration videos. First stop on our tour is going to be Starbucks because it's right here and why not? This is the little mural that everyone loves. All right, we're just gonna save that till the end because the line was way too long. So first, I'm just gonna like start at a starting point and then kind of make my way around. So we're passing through kind of like the area w with a lot of restaurants. This isn't like the main drag. I kind of want to walk this certain like pattern because there was stores that existed a long time ago that aren't stores now. So like I'm passing some right now that used to be stores and everything. I think we got to the starting point. Okay, so obviously this is a celebration hotel. I don't think there's, there's probably like a gift shop in there, so that doesn't really count. This used to be a doll store, I think, or some sort of store. It's now a realty group. It's definitely not a store, but it used to be a store. So this is basically all restaurants here um, that I've already shown you, so you can check that video out if you want to. Not a lot of stores were on this road, so we are just going to keep on going down the row here and then I'll make the right turn after we go here. I don't know why I haven't turned the camera to face me. I should have just done that without just like pointing, but I think I just want to show you guys the more the surroundings rather than just seeing my face. So don't mind me if I'm just like randomly talking and you're seeing the environment. So we're kind of going to go near the ice cream shop. Oh my gosh, look at the little doggy. It's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna save this for last because most of the shops are obviously there. We are first going to go into, I think it's the dog shop. This is like kind of a map of the downtown area and where things are. So if you are in the area and you wanna check stuff out, then this is like a good little key. But I pretty much stay in like the same locations. I don't really like explore that much. Celebrations just changed so much since I've lived here. Like half of the stuff on this in this strip is just like a lot different. The Wolfgang Bakery was there though for, it's been there for a while. So Le Macaroon used to be a store, but it's not, and that's clearly not like a gift shop. I did forget to add that the Macaroon shop used to be a Hello Kitty store that was so adorable. I'm so sad it went out of business because it was one of my favorite stores to go into. Um, some of the stuff is like kind of overpriced. I think we went in there just to see what it looked like for my, um, dining and celebration video so don't really know it's just basically macaroons and sweets in there but i'm not going to show that because it's not actually like retail so going on in here this is what it looks like hopefully you don't get like yelled at for filming but just going to do a little overview of the store because it's pretty cool in here it smells like dog treats oh look dog treats that's so cool so they have all sorts of things for your pets dogs I mean, look at all of this. There's so many options. Look at all of the leashes and the toys. Oh, that's actually kind of a cool one, like a big chain. <laughs> That'd be good for like your dog's like really buff. But they have so much cool stuff in here. A lot of shampoos for your dog. So cool. They have refrigerated goods. Awesome. I love the way they decorate in here. It's just so pink and pretty. They have a lot of options though. So, this is a fun store. Thank you. 
The next store is Kilwins. This one we went into last time. It's just an ice cream store. So this isn't retail or shopping, but this was the old movie theater. Obviously we can't go in it, but I remember seeing movies here. They would put the little posters here and um, the Kilwins. This used to be a restaurant. It didn't used to be Kilwins. It used to be some other store, kind of like Starbucks used to be Barney's, this coffee shop called Barney's. I don't know if you guys know of that, but this didn't used to be Kilwins. It used to be another candy, not candy, but another ice cream store. And they had a restaurant section. So the restaurant section you could see outside in the movie theater. This is the movie theater. It was really small. It only had two little movie theaters in here. And then you would just go to the box office and say like, hey, I want some tickets right over here. You would go in. It was just like a really stereotypical theater. It was an AMC actually. As you can see, it is long abandoned. It's been abandoned pretty much for, I don't know how long. Pardon me, I might sneeze in this because my allergies are killing me. And in the last video, I talked about this, but this is the Columbia restaurant. We're basically going to make a loop so I can show you guys. There's another like strip with like little shops. So basically we walked in a big circle so this little strip, there's some shops around here, but most of them are actually just businesses in celebration. So this is their office. So it's really convenient if, you know, your business does really well and you can live here and then have your business here. You are set for life. You don't have to leave the bubble. So basically we have just a bunch of stuff. I don't know if the bride shop is open, but we'll see. Oh, a barber. There's so many things here now that like I just don't even know. It's called the dressing room. Ooh, I wonder if we could go in. Okay guys, so like I predicted, they are closed. Guess I could show you a little, well there's some dresses there. And you can kind of see in here. Look how cool. Ooh, look, jewelry and stuff. You can't really see it. I'm not doing a very good job. And then we have the, um, the Luna's group. Imagination Realty, Kathy's awesome. I actually know her. I highly recommend her if, she, if you're looking for a house in celebration. She actually sold us our new house, which is cool. And then obviously there's like Remax. And now I'm gonna cross the street cause there's other little businesses over there. Guess I'll be a good citizen and use the crosswalk. So there is one shop there. It's kind of like the dressing room. Um, I wish they were open, but it's okay. I've actually never been in that store because it's pretty new, I think. I just got this idea in my head right now. So if you guys want to see a good photo location spots of celebration, give this video a thumbs up and comment that down below. I would love to do that. I have done multiple photo shoots here for my friends. I do know some really good spots to take photos. We have another realty group here, the Thimble. I don't even know what that is. Craft studio and store, cool. I wonder if they're open. Okay, so it doesn't really look like they're open, but obviously they have like cute little stuff in there. Kind of looks like that. I'm sorry this video is kind of like suckish because nothing's open. I didn't really realize that they would everything would be closed on Sunday. And honestly, I don't know too much about these stores because they're actually brand new, um, at least to me. Okay, so over here we have a before and after school homework assistance tutoring thing is pretty cool it's not necessarily a store and then i guess this stretches out all the way oh there's another realty group wow there's a lot of realtors here and then there's general contracting oh this would be a cute little phone location spot okay so this looks like a new store also obviously they have cameras in use and they're not open but it looks like a knickknack store it's called you can cook and that's what it looks like inside Again, I'm not doing a very hot job doing this because they're all closed. But anyway, this is a You Can Cook and I guess they just sell like a variety of stuff. So that's all the stores in this little strip area. Now we're gonna make our way down the main street and they have like a lot more stores. And I'll tell you guys, there's this one store that closed a while ago. It was called Lollipop Cottage. I swear like three stores have been in there since then, which is really sad, but I always loved Lollipop Cottage. It was a cool store. Okay, so this isn't really retail either, but I wanted to include the post office, the US post office. This is right next to the Escape, the Sweet Escape Bakery. And um, you could just go in here, ship packages. We used to use this place all the time, obviously. So I don't know if they're open. Oh, well obviously they're not open, but at least we could come in here and 
people could get their uh, packages. Um, yeah, you just like go in there. You can check out here. There's another checkout place that you could go towards or whatever. Over there is Bank of America, and that's not really retail, but I just thought I would point that out. Um, there's two banks here. There's um, SunTrust, which is on the opposite corner of here. So we walked past it when we made the circle around this like area on this side. So that's Bank of America, and then there's SunTrust. And this is obviously Main Street, so we're gonna work our way down here. Okay, honestly, this is kind of a shock. Sweet Escape must have closed down. Sweet Escape's been here for a while. This used to be, I think this used to be another store, but then it became a bakery. I don't know, maybe my mom will correct me in the comments. If you guys are in town, there is a celebration art and wine stroll March 14th. Yeah, I love the events they have here. Obviously, they changed over the years, but that's really sad. Sweet Escape is, I guess, no longer, or they're renovating. So here is the market gallery. This is a pretty big store, so we're gonna go in and see if we can get any footage. So they sell a variety of things in here. Um, this used to be like a card store, I think, but they sell a lot of stuff in here. Obviously, Alex, I don't know why I'm just like randomly talking now. They sell like games and this used to be like a card section where you could get cards oh my gosh a pusheen on a okay i get way too distracted but we're okay anyway um they still have the cards that's cute it's a girl thing so fun I like this because there's a lot of homeware. It's good for people that like come into the store, obviously. But this actually used to be a Christmas store. Like everything was Christmas. That's from what I remember as like a kid. But this is really cool too. Like they have different um, like plants and stuff. Okay, honestly, these things are like so pretty. Look at how they like glisten. Okay, so here's like some of their Christmas stuff. Maybe since it's not Christmas, they don't have a lot of stuff out for Christmas. That's just what I remember of the store, but they have some Christmas ornaments. A little tree. And they have some more stuff on this side. It's really pretty. I just remember them being like going all out for Christmas, which is cool. Okay, so the next store is called Gypsy Moon. Oh, uh, this is cool. Just like a bunch of homeware stuff. Oh, honey. Looks very natural. I love the I love this one. That's cute. So pretty. I do miss the old store that was here though. Not gonna lie. This jewelry. So cute. And they have like a bunch of nutritious snacks. They actually have a whole menu, which um, one of the ladies gave me. And I'll show you guys real quick because they serve like acetables and like vegan um, recipe. Just wanted to show you the other half of the store here. Some cool picture frames over here. Oh my gosh, look at this cute little bag. It's adorable. I've always loved these, like the artwork on the um, on the wine glasses. That's pretty cool. That pasta looks really good. Anyway, oh my gosh, look at the donut bag. So cute. Oh, I think that's actually a flask. That's really funny. This is kind of an overview of their store. They have wines in here as well. So fun. Very natural. So this is their social media. If you want to check out their pages, they serve smoothies and acai bowls. They're vegan. This is their menu. They have a lot of options here you can choose from. I actually had an acai bowl in New York when I went. It was my very first one. I would love to come back here and try one. The next store we have is Dazzling, and these are all very new to me, so let's go in and see. This is cool. It's like a jewelry store. Swarovski. This is pretty. Hi. Oh my goodness. Look at how pretty. So this is 
dazzling. They sell a lot of like pretty jewelry. Look at this, man. Apparently this store's been here for a couple years. I guess I've just never popped in to see what they have, but. Looks like they also have some like lotions and everything. Ooh, I love these mirrors. That's pretty. With incense, candles. It smells really good in here too. Ooh, bath bombs. Those look good, man. That's awesome. We have some scarves over here. And more jewelry. Ooh, purses. Obviously, that really catches my eye because I love bags. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so the next store we're gonna go into, this is my favorite store, and I think it's mother's favorite store too. It's called Soft as a Grape. This has been here ever since we moved to Florida in 2002, and it's still held up because they have all of this celebration gear. So I'm saving the best for last because honestly, this is probably my favorite celebration store, and it's still here. It's kind of like, in my mind, it's like a legacy because it's actually survived the uh, challenge of time. So let's go in. So this store sells all types of um, clothing and apparel kind of resembling Florida so we have like some cute little Lily Pulitzer like tops oh that's really soft this is so fun this store is very popular obviously because it's like celebration spirit store <laughs> at least that's what I consider it as here's the celebration sweatshirts Sherry actually has one of these and more celebration stuff some hats there's they always sell like sunglasses beachy stuff Super fun, Florida-esque stuff. So, also have celebration hats, like all sorts of celebration hats. They have everything you could imagine that says like celebration on. Well, pretty much apparel-wise. So, I'm gonna try to get a thumbnail. Let's try to do this. I think we got some good thumbnail options. This is pretty much it. I just need to put this back here. Okay, so that, my friends, is pretty much all the shops in Celebration Florida as of March 2020. Hi! <laughs> yeah. Hi! <laughs> okay, so that was kind of like the opposite uh, reaction I had like last time. Unlike this, um, whoa, snap. Unlike this person, okay, I almost got ran over. Maybe that should be the title. Unlike last time where a person like legit yelled at me for filming, these little kids are like, oh, vloggers. I'm like, oh, thank goodness, like something positive in my life. Um, well, when I'm out in public, like doing this. Now I'm going to get my Starbucks and I am going to wait in the big long line no matter how long it takes. We actually have like Orlando and Florida cups, which is pretty cool. This is what I got for Christmas for the Christmas game. I guess they still have some. And then this one's pretty cool because it, um, it has Florida on it, but I like the Starbucks bag because it looks literally like a Starbucks bag. If you guys watch KK and Baby J, there's a cake pop pop. Oh. They're so tempting to get, but I probably won't get one. Okay, so I got the goods. I got my chai tea. This is the first time they actually didn't fill it up all the way. It's to like the second line, which I find bizarre, but that's just what it is. It still tastes good. I get 10% cash back at Starbucks through the month of March on my credit card. So I was like, hmm, you know, I never really have Starbucks on a regular basis. So I might as well today get myself a little treat. I also want to film a TikTok using the straw and the cup like when I'm done drinking it. You're just going to have to go to my TikTok and um, see it because my friend Taylor, Taylor Lehman here on YouTube, she made it so I kind of want to recreate it because it seems really fun and it's kind of funny actually. Um, oh look, another vlogging couple. They're using like a selfie stick. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was insightful about the shops in Celebration. I'm sorry that some were closed, but it is Sunday, so it's kind of expected. I don't really make it out to this side of town very frequently just because I don't live here. I don't really live near or like super close to here and there's only a few times that like I have to come here like our pharmacy's here and like my optometrist is here so obviously I come when I need to come but just gonna sit here enjoy this for a couple minutes and then head back home to exercise anyway give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video bye